Hi all. In the last video, we have seen about the optical fibers. We have discussed total internal reflection as the basic principle of optical fiber. We have also seen various terms like accepted angle, accepted scone, and a numerical aperture. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for numerical aperture and a acceptance angle. So we can consider an optical fiber. What are the main two parts of an optical fiber? Core and a cladding. The refractive index of the core, let it be n1 and the refractive index of cladding be n2. For total internal reflection to be within the fiber, this n1 must be greater than n2. That is refractive index of the core must be greater than refractive index of cladding. So that only the light will travel from denser to rarer medium. Let the refractive index of the surrounding medium is n0. If it is air, then n0 is equal to 1. Consider a light ray which is entering into the core at an angle of incidence theta a maximum. What is this theta a maximum? That is the acceptance angle. Acceptance angle is the maximum value of the external angle of incidence at the core so that the light can be within the optical fiber. So let the angle of incidence is equal to this acceptance angle. Then this incident ray get refracted into the core at an angle of refraction theta r. And it is incident at the core cladding interface at an angle of incidence phi. As long as this angle of incidence at the core cladding interface is greater than the critical angle, the light ray will be within the optical fiber and it will undergo multiple total internal reflection. So in order to find out the expressions for numerical aperture and acceptance angle, we can apply Snell's law here. We are applying the Snell's law at two points. One is at the point of entrance of light that is we can denote as A and the other point is at the core cladding interface that we can denote as B. So we can apply the Snell's law at the point A and B and by simple mathematical calculations we can find out the expression for numerical aperture. So first we can apply the Snell's law at the A. At the point A the light is traveling from the surroundings with the refractive index N0 to the core with the refractive index N1. Then what is the Snell's law? Snell's law is sin I divided by sin R is equal to N2 divided by N1. Here, the second medium is having refractive index N1 because first medium is surrounding that refractive index is N0. Second medium refractive index is N1. So here we can write this second refractive index as N1 and the first refractive index as N0. Then what is the angle of incidence there? The angle of incidence at the point A is theta A maximum. And what is the angle of refraction there? That is theta R. So let it be equation number 1. Now we can apply the Snell's law at the core cladding interface. At the core cladding interface, what will be the Snell's law? That is sin I by sin R is equal to N2 divided by N1. Here the second medium is cladding that refractive index is N2. The first medium is core that refractive index is N1. What is the angle of incidence at the point B that is core cladding interface that is equal to 5. Now we can write the Snell's law at the core cladding interface at an angle of incidence phi is equal to critical angle. That is the starting point of the total internal reflection. So when phi is equal to phi c, what will be the angle of refraction that is equal to 90 degree. So we can write the angle of incidence here as sin phi c. Then what will be this angle of refraction r that is equal to 90 degree. That is sin phi c is equal to n2 divided by n1 because sin 90 is equal to 1. Then what is this phi c? If we are considering the right angular triangle a, b, let this point be c, a, b, c, what is this angle of uh, incidence at the point b, phi? 
phi is equal to this angle is 90 degree that is 90 minus theta r here we have considered this phi as phi c so phi c we can write as 90 minus theta r so we can write here as sine into 90 minus theta r is equal to n2 by n1 what is this sine 90 minus theta that is equal to cos theta r is equal to n2 divided by n1 this cos theta r we can write as as 1 minus sin square theta r is equal to n2 by n1 because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 therefore this cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta or cos theta is equal to root of 1 minus sin square theta now we can substitute for sin theta r from equation 1 from equation 1 what is sin theta r that is equal to n0 by n1 into sin theta a maximum. So this expression we can substitute here. So we will get a root of 1 minus sin square theta r is n0 square by n1 square into sin square theta a maximum is equal to n2 by n1. Or we can square this. So we will get 1 minus n0 square by n1 square into sin square theta a maximum is equal to n2 by n1. What we want to find out? We want to find out the numerical aperture. What is numerical aperture? That is the light collecting capacity of an optical fiber and this numerical aperture is defined as the sign of the maximum acceptance angle. This definition we have seen in the last video. Numerical aperture is the sign of the acceptance angle. On taking this RHS term to uh, left hand side, we will get 1 minus n2 square by n1 square is equal to, take this term to the right hand side. So, it is n0 square by n1 square into sin square theta a maximum. So, that is n1 square minus n2 square divided by n1 square is equal to n0 square by n1 square into sin square theta a max. Then this n1 square and n1 square will cancel and we will get to this sin square theta a is equal to n1 square minus n2 square divided by n0 square. On taking the square root of this, we will get sin theta a max is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n0. What is the sign of this acceptance angle? That is known as the numerical aperture. Now, let the light be incident from air to the core. Then what will be this n0? That is equal to 1. So, if the n0 is equal to 1, we can write this expression for numerical aperture as sin theta a maximum is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square. So, this is the expression for the numerical aperture of an optical fiber that is sin theta a maximum is equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square where n1 is the refractive index of the core and the n2 is the refractive index of cladding. So, from this expression we can find out for acceptance angle then what is acceptance angle? Acceptance angle will be sin inverse numerical aperture that is sin inverse root of n1 square minus n2 square. So this is the derivation for the expression for numerical aperture and a acceptance angle. Here we have used Snell's law at two points only. That is at the point A that is when the light is just entering to the core and at the point B that is core cladding interface. So what the expression we got from the point A that is substituting in the expression for the point B. Then just rearranging we are getting the expression of numerical aperture as new root of n1 square minus n2 square. Now we can write the numerical aperture in terms of fractional refractive index change. 
fractional refractive index change is defined as the difference in the refractive index of core and the cladding to the refractive index of the core. That is fractional refractive index change delta is equal to N1 minus N2 divided by N1. Where N1 is the refractive index of the core and N2 is the refractive index of cladding. Now we can write this numerical aperture in terms of this delta. That is numerical aperture is equal to sin theta A max is equal to root of N1 minus N2 square. So, this uh, root of n1 minus n2 square we can write as n1 plus n2 into n1 minus n2. So, to introduce the fractional index change here, we can just divide and multiply by this n1. Then, this n1 minus n2 by n1 we can write it as delta. So, this expression becomes root of this n1 minus n2 by n1 we are writing as delta. Here we have n1 and this n1 plus n2. See this in optical fiber N1 is greater than N2 but N1 is not very much greater than N2. When we are taking this N1 plus N2 that is approximately we can take it as 2N1 because if N1 is equal to 1.5 then N2 maybe it is 1.4 something. So N1 plus N2 will be approximately we can take as 2N1. So this N1 plus N2 is 2N1 into already there one there is one N1 so it becomes root of 2N1 square into delta that is on taking this N1 to the uh, outside we, we will get N1 into root of 2 delta. So this is the expression for numerical aperture in terms of fractional refractive index change. Fractional index change means it is a ratio of difference in the refractive index of core and cladding to the refractive index of the core. So we are using these uh, expressions for uh, solving the numericals. That is numerical aperture is equal to sin theta maximum equal to root of n1 square minus n2 square and also it is equal to n1 into root of 2 delta. So in the next video we can do the numericals based on this numerical aperture.